How are you doing? This space is unbelievable and somebody needs to oil their brakes. I think this is quite a marvelous park up, if I do say so myself. I'm very pleased. But don't be fooled, the rest of the week has not been like this. <laughs> All right, I have a fat air conditioning unit down here because it's been so warm. My battery ran out last night and the night before. So I was just, you know, sleeping with no ventilation in a metal box in the sun. So I've been, I've been very warm and that creature is still going. Broski, shush. But the rest of the week's been quite bougie. I went to Karen, had a little walk around. Anyway, do you wanna go somewhere? Because this creature is doing my head in. <laughs> also, how many yachts are over there? It's so cool. I'm just living for it. I'm living for this view. I'm living for this parking space. My battery's run out again. So we're gonna go for a little drive and we're gonna find somewhere beautiful. All right, you're very sideways. But we're gonna have to roll with it because I've broken my my thing. All right, so that spot was gorgeous, but we're gonna leave because I need a bubble tea and I want to be near a, bo a body of water because I just I feel like in the sun you just need it. It's like a definite way to cool down, and there's something very comforting about that. Oh, I love it here. Look at the wind. <laughs> Yes, it's just so green everywhere, it's so pretty, just give it to me, you know? You know when it's so warm that the idea of eating anything is like catastrophic? <laughs> it's like I can drink liquids, that's it. Like we've now moved into the season where it's like, give me, give me water. I want liquid. But I do have this, which I forgot about. Are you ready? It's freaking amazing. <laughs> Let's go. literally want to run into the sea very quickly. How convenient. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the beach and it's really gross. <laughs> it stinks. Uh, Gigi loves it. She's loving it, but um, I'm not. So we're gonna go. <laughs> the beach is just full of seaweed. It stinks. She now stinks. Look at her. Look at her head. Not gonna lie. Not having a good day. <laughs> I can't do anything. Nothing's going to plan. I'm so warm. Honestly, I fell asleep in the bag for like two hours and ate like half a rotisserie chicken that's the kind of vibe today today it's giving and now i'm just sitting here and i don't know i don't know what to do and i have no idea where to go i'm very tempted to go into saint tropez just because it always makes my day six hundred thousand times better the, the last few days the, or the last week or so has actually been so hard in the van it's just it's so warm it's just so warm and like there's just no space or anything anywhere yeah, it's just stressful okay i found an option let's try it adventure we're gonna see where we end up it's gonna be so fun i just oh, i'm so happy the heat is gone so dramatic i like
like the flowers. Let's, let's see what there is to offer. I think it's a beach. I don't know if it's accessible or if there's going to be weeds again. Why am I holding the sun visor like this? Okay, let's try. I've done a brilliant job of boxing myself in. And apparently this plant is um, poisonous. So I'm a little scared to touch it. Is this how I die? At least the plant's pretty, I guess. Let's breathe it. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> the sun has gone in. Not in the sun, but it's still really peaceful here. Did you come back? Baby. Hi, baby. All right, we're gonna go. But it is very nice here. My butt hurts on the rocks. <laughs> Somebody has found a stick. Gigi, come on. Why are you eating it? It's a stick. Wow. Oh, the oh, they're so pretty. Now we get the joyful experience of having to choose a place to park. <laughs> I just don't want to stay here. It's nice, but I just can think of the sun in the morning just like beating down on the van. Like, I need somewhere shaded. Found a place that looks promising. Don't know if it will be or not. The problem is it's just going from that phase of um, the like holiday restrictions for camping are like just coming in today, I think, in like the whole region. So it's a little bit stressful, but we'll be fine. We existed last summer. Actually, last summer I spent mostly in the UK, so um, I am a bit concerned for for this summer. But it'll be fine. Just look at the sea. The sea says it's fine. So again, we're, we're gonna roll with that. Look how pretty the sunset is. Oh, it's like a haze. It is glorious. There'll be another space. There'll be another space. Oh, at least we can drive and watch the sunset though. That's so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. Ah! Oh god! Oh god! Check out the greenery. It's really nice. Oh, I love going through trees. It's like a refreshing refreshment. <laughs>
gonna go on a, a little nighttime beach walk. Come with me. Come with me. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> Did you hear? Uh, I don't know where to go. Why is there a traffic light? Is that for me? This is Port Gama and it's in like a, it's kind of like a gated community. I went here a while back in the video, like very briefly, but nothing was open because it was like, I don't know, January, February. So um, it's just so different to see it like this. I'm literally just chilling, reading a property magazine because that is what I like to do to pass the time. <laughs> uh, I've always liked looking at houses, even since I was like very little. It's just a fun thing to do, you know? All right, let's go. I shall see you tomorrow. Maybe. Good morning. I'm so warm right now. Oh god. Gee, my battery didn't run out which is great but my aircon machine i think when i was driving i think that i damaged it when it fell over in the past. and now it won't work let's go for a swim right now <laughs> right now i can't i'm so warm let's go it's so warm in here it is cooler outside oh my gosh i literally I cannot think it is that hot. I don't know what to do. I actually don't. You know, I don't even know if I can do the summer here. I'm going without caffeine because putting the kettle on, there's another source of heat in here right now. No. Nope. Oh, also my hair looks like shit. Why, 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 why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I, just, I need the sea. Let's go to the sea. So much better oh my god the sea is also so clear and i'm living for it. gg has found a stick <laughs> i'm so warm but so much better now plus You'll never guess what just happened. My AC unit started working again, so I'm pretty pleased. Let's go to a little shop. Let's get let's get frosty. I might go back to that space. That one right at the beginning. Because it's in the shade, there's a nice view. And I like it. <laughs> it's peaceful. 
I'm so lost right now. I. Oh God. I guess this is more of like a reality <laughs> episode of like day to day van life. Like I'm just, especially in the summer, this is a really interesting new dimension for me because I've been in the van in the summer but last year I went back to England for like two months so I missed most of the heat but I've never been here in the proper heat it's like 30 odd degrees today 33 degrees that is not fun living out of a metal box like what? <laughs> why? <laughs> why am I doing this? I'm just having a full-on mental breakdown, it's fine, I'm just having a bit of a crisis, just bear with me, bear with me. This can be the question I'm answering today. Um, is van life doable in summer, like in extreme heat? Um, is it doable? Yes. Is it enjoyable? No. <laughs> it's not enjoyable. It's not, it's not enjoyable. One thing I think is interesting is because in the summer, it's like, oh, solar panels are gonna be having the, the time of their lives. You know, the sun is gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be on the van all the time. I'm gonna be getting loads of energy, right? Loads of power, no issues. Issue is, is that you don't wanna park in the sun. You wanna park in the shade so it's nice and cool. Like right now I'm parked in the shade. It makes so much difference. Like, even if you have AC in the van or whatever, you know, it's all right, but you need the power to make it work. And if you're parking in the shade the whole time, <laughs> you're not going to get any power. So it's, it's, a, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. It's like, there's a very fine balance, but it's hard to find. But honestly, van life in extreme heat is not fun. It is not fun. It is not enjoyable. You just honestly feel completely homeless, like completely homeless. Um, like right now I do, I just feel sticky and just like, not good, you know? But you can go to campsites and that makes things easier. I have been doing that a lot recently. It's costing an absolute, like they're so expensive this time of year. It's actually crazy. I don't know, 50 euros a night maybe. I don't know. I just, I think there's like a heat limit of like 25 degrees in a van and then anything over that is just awful. But shaded places aren't that easy to find because all the wood's so dry and there's not many forests and then you have like wildfire hazards. Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually not very good but yeah I'm just saying that because I think I just was planning to have a really good summer and now I'm just here like, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, I could drive to a different country, but I really wanted to spend the summer here or at least a, a little bit of it. Like I wanted to go to the beach clubs and, and I don't know where to go. So I am literally mentally frozen right now. I'm like, no, too hot, can't move. No. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Come here and save me. Someone pull me through the screen. Okay, now we're gonna go. For real. This is so much better. Ah, oh, thanks so much for joining. We'll see what happens next week. I'll fill you in on the details. Look.